Okay, so we're going to check some crossfire today. See if we have any of that. Right now we have your basic, regular cheap spark plug wires. I'm also going to test some solid core wires. And after the test, I'll do an ohm test on these wires and see where we are. So, a zip tied 5 and 7 together. And I'm going to try to video it in regular and slow-mo, and even super slow-mo, if the frame rate is going to cooperate with us. So, let's see what we can do here. Okay, I'm going to try the slow motion. I'm not sure if this is going to work. Okay, same test, except we're going to do solid core wires, zip tied together, number five and seven. Let's see what we got this time. And again, I'm going to try to do this in regular slow-mo and super slow-mo. We'll see how that goes.
Okay, let's check the ohms on the solid core wires. Point three. And the same point three. And let's check the cheapo wires. These are probably at least 25 or 30 years old. Eight point six one ten point nine one. So I just wanted to show what system I'm using now and what I have planned down the road. Right now we're just doing the seven AL two and the crane LX ninety two coil. I also have An old school ProMaster 29440. I already tested that, and you'd be surprised at the difference of spark output from the ProMaster to the crane. I'll go over that when we do that test. I also have an old school Holly annihilator system with its own coil. I also have a very old school Mallory High Fire. I don't even know if that works. We'll find out. And I have the old standard Excel super coil. Also, I have multiple other I have MSD HEIs and stock HEIs. So, we're going to try all that over the course of the next, I don't know, a few weeks or a few months. Depends on how soon I can get out in the garage again. But there's that test, and let's see what you think about it. Thanks.